me show you a couple things that I have in here um, just so you can get an idea. I mean, like I said, we're on a budget too. So at some point in the future, when I become a bajillionaire, um, <laughs> I'll be buying everything organic. But right now, I'm on a budget. So like this milk is organic milk, okay? But then my half and half for my coffee is made from cows um, that aren't treated with the RBST hormone, the growth hormone. You can't really read that very well. So it's not quite organic, but it's also not as bad as non-organic. Um, organic applesauce, because apples are one of those things that are important. Um, I have some tr sliced turkey that's not treated with antibiotics and hormones. This cheese also says on here, has this little label that it's not treated with the growth hormone. Kind of hard to see. I've got some yogurt here, organic yogurt. Um, this one's not treated with the growth hormone. My eggs are actually not organic, but they are cage-free, um, grass-fed, vegetarian-fed, and no hormones, antibiotics. So a lot of times, like Trader Joe's, I don't know with all the other grocery stores and health food stores in the world, but it won't be organic, but it will say on it, like, um, you know, no hormones, no antibiotics. So that's better and cheaper than buying the organic, 100% um, organic. And then I have tons of stuff in here with like kale, red leaf lettuce. I've got some chard in there. I've got a bunch of spinach back there um, for all of our green smoothies. And again, all of this spinach is organic. Um, I've got a bunch of produce in there that's organic. My beef, my organic ground beef. So those are some of the things that are important. Um, I also buy like organic raisins, which is, I don't know why, Will is obsessed with raisins. So um, I figure since a raisin was once a grape, that since a grape is something that you need to eat organic, you should have organic raisins too. And so that's a little bit, those are some of our staples, um, our oats. We eat oatmeal all the time, so I do organic oats because um, we eat oatmeal like every morning. Um, my coffee's organic, too, because I drink coffee every day. Except today, I forgot to make it. That's just weird. Um, so, that's it for now. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of knowledge so now you can be better prepared when you're on a budget, but you're still trying to be healthy. So, some things you can buy organic, and some ways you can kind of skirt around it. And baby steps. Just start introducing little things. Then... Um, then you'll be good to go. And one more little thing let me say about these guys. If you're cheating, these are the cheating ones. Um, you know, like, for instance, broccoli, things like that, tomatoes, asparagus. Um, and then if you do end up cheating on some of the other ones, just make sure and wash it really, really well. Like, maybe get one of those little veggie scrubbers. And, um, you know, apples are one of the dirtiest things because they're handled so much. Um, so just make sure you're scrubbing off as much as you can. And that's all for now. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if you want me to like dwell, dwell, delve, delve. I'm making up words. Um, go into like another area more so and I can talk more about that. So anyways, hope you guys are having a great day. Sorry this video is so long, but you know, it's just one of those topics that it's very important we need to know about. And um, let me just say one more thing since it's so long anyway, um, I'll make sacrifices. Like for me, nutrition is super, super important. So I rarely will go clothes shopping or, you know, buy stuff for the house or get a pedicure or do any of that stuff for me. Like I, you know, I'll make sacrifices because my, you know, like I have this thing about food. It has to be healthy. It has to be organic. It has to be, can't be toxic. Um, you know, I'm the same way with my cleaning products, and um, so I'll make sacrifices like that. You know, maybe I'll pick up a shirt every now and then at Target. It's like $12 or something, um, but I try not to buy in too much to that all that material stuff. So, so that's how you can kind of save. It's just you know, check your expenses and what where you're spending your money on, and um, just cut where you can, and then you can cheat a little bit on the food. Um, but I think it's really important because a lot of this toxic stuff is, is having crazy, um, consequences on our children, um, like obesity and, uh, diseases and, 
and cancers and uh, all these hormones and antibiotics, pesticides, chemicals. It's it's not a joke. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, organic, it's some kind of gimmick or something. It's not. It's absolutely not. Um, you know, maybe that's how some people justify it, but it's serious. We're putting these things in our baby's body, so... Um, so it's important to know about. So again, sorry this video is so long, but this is something that I'm totally passionate about and it's important to know about these things. So um, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a great weekend and we will chat soon. Okay, bye.